Welcome back everyone to another Pug Gaming Adventure. Uh, once again in my commando, I have some ECM. I really like seeing though how we've got an atlas with ECM. That means I have the freedom to do a little bit of scouting. Uh, and we can still keep our assault force pretty much hidden. I find in pickup groups, uh, people just don't talk enough. There needs to be a lot more communication. Tell other people what you're doing. Whenever a group does succeed, it's because everyone knows what everyone else is doing. A lot of the complaints about ECM revolve around not the missile lock, but just the lack of information that's been happening. Uh, if you don't know what's going on with your allies, you can't support them. And so ECM's kind of main bonus right now is just that information denial. Not only do you not know what's going on with the other team, you don't even know where your own team is if they're in an enemy ECM bubble. So, one second. So that's why it's really nice AF. What the heck does AF mean? Was that Tin Man? Yeah, he's going after it. Okay, well, let's see if I can help him out a little bit. I wonder what C is. Oh, missile boat. See, this is the first time I've had an ECM on my scout, and I'm actually using him like a scout. I'm not really... Oh, that's a bad sign. I'm not really sure how much I'm going to like that. Oh, make it over the ridge, make it over the ridge, don't make it over the ridge. Ah, crap. Well, always nice when you take out your own legs. You can get some really interesting results that way. Uh, let's just hope that our team's Atlas is a better pilot than I am. Because otherwise, I'm just going to, you know, kill myself by jumping on things. Anyway, this guy is doing a nice attack on the missile boat that was up here. I'm going to enjoy myself joining in. And hopefully we have someone... Oh, beautiful. You didn't really want to hurt him, did you, Mr. Hunchback? Yeah, so I don't know what's going on with this guy now. <laughs> There's the power of three SRM-4s. I guess now we have to cap. Whoa, or I could type cap and then miss the Y button and power myself down when I got to the P and cap. Hope there's no one here. Please, please be no one here. Two to three, close game. Makes me think that there's going to be no one here. Oh man, they need to bring music back. Like, good music. Oh, three to three. Three to four. <laughs> now we're losing. Please, oh please, oh please. It's just nerve-wracking, sitting here, waiting. So one of the other reasons why I like the four, uh, or the three SRM-4s is... <laughs> another reason why I like them is it's a lot cheaper to rearm these guys, too. You can see I can throw three tons of ammo, so even if I just go for the 75% rearm for free, I still usually have more than enough to uh, keep me through a match, unless that match goes way long. This is awesome to me. It's kind of the image I have right there. Just chilling on top. I really think of all the maps as the one that has the most... Uh, the most places where you can get stuck. Oh, well, I'll take the victory. Works for me. 
Did a fair amount of damage, got a kill on a hunchback that didn't even turn around and try and shoot me, and the only damage I took was by falling off cliffs. So, that captures a pretty extraordinary game if I do say so myself. Anyway, hope you all enjoy watching me make a fool of myself, and uh, I'll be back next time.